today is April the 21st, 2010, and uh, we're doing this on the road today because we can. I'm being safe, both hands are on the wheel, except for the one holding the camera. Ah! Okay, so today's been kind of interesting, had some ups, had some downs, overall pretty good day. Um, this evening got to go to the prayer meeting at church, which uh, first time I've been in a while, and have really enjoyed it. Um, really enjoyed what Brother uh, Tim brought today. As well as, you know, the, the prayer part of it. I mean, granted, it was short and sweet, but the message that went along with what we were praying was awesome. Um, talked about Ruth and Boaz and just her needs being met, how Christ is meeting our needs. And uh, it kind of makes me think about some of the other stuff I was writing today um, about Koinonia. Koinonia is just this beautiful term from Greek. Um, well, Koinonia is the English interpretation of the Greek word. And uh, what it encompasses is like communal sharing. Um, it's participation through intimate um, commun communion through intimate participation. So it's just this beautiful, beautiful word. Um, it's K-O-I-N-O-I-N-A. In case you want to look it up on Wikipedia or uh, prhstaugustine.org, click on Koinonia. It's the quick rundown, and it gives a link to Wikipedia, so you can go check out the rest of the article. But uh, it, it's a really beautiful word, and it allows so much, and it ties in really well with what people reducing homelessness does, as well as what any fellowship of Christians should think is that hey. Koinonia, we should share, we should participate, we should be of community and have relationships with each other that build and strengthen as we go along. So uh, that's kind of the echo in the aether thought for the day is Koinonia and just a little bit of Ruth and Boaz right there, you know. We should, we should be so fortunate to be met by God for all our needs. And uh, yeah, that's my thoughts. Peace and love and all that happy stuff. Talk to y'all tomorrow on the flip side.